All right, you guys, I'm going to introduce you to a intensity technique called 21s. Now, you can do this with most muscle groups, and it's phenomenal. We're going to use it for biceps today, um, but you can play this anywhere. We're going to actually use time under tension um, and not using the full range of motion. Um, and we're going to do 21 reps of bicep curls per set, but we're going to do different rep ranges for each, each part of that set. So we're going to divide it into three rep ranges. So we're going to have, you know, full range would be from bottom to top, right? Now remember guys, a full curl is not this. That is cheating. That's actually not a curl. That's a shoulder move, okay? So you want to lock your shoulders, in, I mean your elbows in. You want to think of that dowel being put through from one elbow through your body to the other. They're locked in and all you're doing is here. That's full range of motion. The minute I have to move my shoulder to move the dumbbell, I'm done. Okay, so this is full range of motion. So that would be full range. Partial range or bottom range is just going to be from, of course, the bottom to mid line. So we're right at 90 degrees down. Okay, and then the top range is going to be from here to parallel to the floor. Okay, so those are our three ranges. We're going to do bottom curls. We're going to do only top curls, stopping halfway through. And we're going to do full range curls. Okay. Now the way this is going to work is we're going to do seven, seven, and seven. So you're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bottom reps, and then you're immediately going to go to seven top reps. One parallel, holding that parallel. Two three, and then finish those seven now, and then you're going to do seven full. So then you're going to immediately go one, two, to 21. So seven bottom range, seven top range, seven full range. That is one set. Good luck on your 21s. <laughs>